Let's take a look at an actual example of how we can create and use OGraph using Lupic as our editor and SPX as our playout controller. We'll be creating a simple news style lower third with a logo, headline, and an option for breaking news style. We'll first go into Lupic, a web-based tool tailored specifically for HTML graphics creation. In here, we can design, animate, and script graphics using a familiar set of tools like drawing, text, masking, and keyframing. We'll also design the breaking news style, which we'll control with a button later on. When we're done with the design and animation, we'll simply export it as an O-graph. This will bring up a template definition builder where you can define the headline text field and the breaking news button. Finally, click on export and we now have an O-graph ready to be used. Now we'll head over to SPX, an HTML graphic playout platform which can be used to manage, control, and render graphics. We'll create a new project inside of SPX and import the OGraph that we just exported. And when we hit play, the graphic will be rendered out as a production-ready output. The options that we defined in Lupic can be accessed right in here, and we can trigger that breaking use using the checkbox. HTML Graphics has already proven its ability to handle the demanding needs of modern broadcast graphics. Everything from complex animations to data integrations. OGraph will be the key to ensure the openness of HTML graphics.